We had a viewer comment about the Smith mission for doing a squat. And the viewer wants to know what our opinion on that idea is. Sean, I think there, there's basically two schools of thought around a Smith machine. On the one hand, you will have the group of hardcore lifters who don't want to be seen near a Smith machine. It's too embarrassing uh, to them. Uh, on the other hand, there are lifters that know the value of the machine and would incorporate it into, into their training routine. Um, personal view is that it's a very useful piece of equipment again for the right, the right use case and uh, also some precautions one has to take with the Smith machine. So I said I think it's a useful machine to do quad development. If you look at the structure of a Smith, it is basically a barbell that slides between the two uprights and that provides a lot of stability. Uh, obviously it's guides that it moves in between and it provides absolute stability. With the stability comes the benefits. That means there's a safety aspect. Uh, you don't have to balance the weight like with the three barbell. Um, fewer of the stabilizing muscles are involved. Um, and obviously um, it is safer because you've got safety catches. That also helps that you can train without a spotter with more safety. Because it's easy just to hook the, the, the weight back into the frame. So that, those are some of the benefits of the, of the machine. Again, we've made mention in one of our earlier videos that the muscle currency is tension. So the quads would not be able to determine whether that tension comes from a Smith machine, from a squat. It's just the tension. So if you can use this machine to apply sufficient tension to the muscle, it will have the effect that you, that you are looking for. Uh, so Sean, when it comes to the placement of the feet, I think typically one needs to place your feet a bit further in front to allow yourself room uh, to do the squat. Um, so in this case, I've placed my feet well in front of the bar. I'm just going to unhook it and then I'm going to go down for the squat. And it felt very comfortable. Didn't feel any problem with that. Uh, if you place your feet too close to the bar, it can definitely lead to excessive uh, shear forces on the knee and uh, it's also possible to hurt your back with a smith, although it's less likely than on a, on a free squat. But that in essence, those are the benefits of doing a squat on a smith machine. So once again, if we were to compare the smith machine with a free squat, I'm of the opinion that the free squat would give you a better overall muscle engagement and perhaps give a better workout. Sean, so if we then maybe at a high level compare the, the squat to the Smith machine, uh, already we've mentioned the stability factor of the Smith. With the squat, you do not have that and you need to balance that weight. So balance becomes important, core becomes very important all the stabilizers, stabilizing muscles, so it gives you a much fuller, let's call it a semi, fully, full uh, body workout compared to the Smith. So all things being equal, one could argue that the squat is a more effective tool and a more effective exercise, seeing that it uh, gives you a more total body workout. That said, however, if the objective is quad development, the Smith can do the job just as well. So I think again comes down to what your requirements are. If you feel uncomfortable training alone, you haven't got a spotter, uh, you need that stability, the Smith is an excellent machine. Um, even so, the Smith machine can still make out an important component of an overall exercise routine where you include squats and other leg exercises, so it can still be a very valuable tool. If you found this useful, remember to subscribe. Until next time, think, think muscles. muscles.